The Negro Motorist Green Book, I think is really a story about freedom and joy amidst oppression. It's about freedom of movement and the joy of travel that was enabled by this innovation of Victor Green's Green Book um, and how it enabled the black community to move across the United States and to gather together to see family, to have vacations amidst the oppression of the Jim Crow era. The Green Book exhibition tells a lot of stories. Some of the stories it tells are the stories of prejudice, of segregation, of what it meant to be black and to drive down the highway, not knowing who was gonna welcome you um, or what kind of reception you might receive, even just stopping at a gas station. Things like eating or having a place to sleep or being able to fill up your car, those weren't things that were guaranteed for black Americans. But what the exhibition also shows us is it shows us a story beyond the prejudice. It shows us what it meant to embrace hope, what it meant to embrace resilience, what it meant to build a community around travel, a community where folks could network through the Green Book to build businesses that were black owned, to give rise to community movements that made travel safer for all Americans and ultimately to give birth to the civil rights movement. In school, we didn't learn a lot about the Green Book. In fact, most people really didn't even know it existed until this exhibition came to be. This story bridges the gap between what we hear about in school of slavery and the civil rights movement. It shows us how black Americans succeeded and persevered, how they enjoyed life, how they had vacations, how they embraced middle-class lifestyles, and how they built communities from the ground up um, and formed incredible networks of Black-owned businesses, the impacts of which we still feel today. The mission of the Washington State Historical Society is to partner with our communities to explore how history connects us all. What I love about the Negro Motors Green Book Exhibition is there are ways to connect with the content on so many levels. We love working with the Smithsonian Institution's Traveling Exhibition Service. The exhibitions are just of an exceptional quality and we know that the curation is going to be amazing. This is the second exhibition that we have hosted from the Smithsonian Institution Traveling Exhibition Service. And so we really leap at the chance to bring sites exhibitions to our museum. These exhibitions are very special to us to be able to host because they bring forward some of the most amazing scholarship. They tell stories that open our audience's understanding of what it means to be an American. And they also provide us with an opportunity to partner with the institution and other institutions locally to tell our own local story in the context of these national parts of history. The exhibition provides us an opportunity to connect with our community and to connect with folks on multiple levels. You know, we can talk about the actual experiences that folks in Washington had while traveling during the Jim Crow era, but we can also connect with our visitors on an emotional level. The Smithsonian National Museum of African American History and Culture provided funding to us that provided us the opportunity to partner with several different organizations in our area that help preserve black history and culture. Among those institutions were the Black Heritage Society of Washington State, the Museum of History and Industry, Traveling While Black in Seattle, and the Northwest African American Museum. Through that funding, we've been able to provide programs like free online story times, bus tours that communicate black heritage and culture, and in-person programming in the exhibition itself, as well as lectures from notable scholars and authorities. The relationship that we've established with SITES is so important to us, and we, we really believe in the content that they're putting forward. It helps us to connect Washington State history with the broader context of U.S. history, and it's a great resource for us, and we want to keep partnering with SITES.